Have you ever calculated how much your electric bike battery costs you per mile or kilometer? Are you sure you got your money's worth? That's the subject of this video. What prompted me to do this presentation is that my Pedigal City commuter battery has died after six seasons of service and I have to buy a new one. This is an enormous loss because the battery is the most expensive component of the bike. This prompted me to look into the causes of the death of a lithium-ion battery and while doing research on the subject I discovered that because of the limited life of the battery, Owning an electric bike is a lot more expensive than I had ever imagined. I'm sure I'm not the only e-bike owner who hasn't given enough thought to this matter. I bought my Pedigo City commuter in April 2015, nearly six years ago. And on November 28, 2020, it died a sudden death. From one day to the next, it simply stopped accepting being charged. The battery gave me 13,731 kilometers. It brought me a lot of pleasure, of course, but at a price much higher than I had planned for. A replacement cost $1,661, including 15% sales tax in Canadian currency. We'll look at the US price in a minute. I kept a log of each time I charged it, so I can tell you I charged it 488 times. Lithium batteries, it is said, generally can be recharged from 500 to 1,000 times. On average, I rode 28 kilometers per charge-discharge cycle. This varied from as little as 10 to a high of 101 kilometers. I estimate the cost to recharge the battery all those times cost me under $17. We can see that the cost of the electricity is but an insignificant part of the total cost of a battery. Let's put the replacement cost in perspective. The battery gave me 13,731 kilometers before giving out, which works out to 8,532 miles. And as I mentioned, including taxes, it cost me $1,661, which works out to 12 cents per kilometer in my country's currency. That's a lot more than I expected. Because everybody in the world knows what an American dollar is worth, we'll now turn to U.S. dollars. The same Pedigo battery in the States cost $1,000, plus I estimate on average 5% sales tax, so let's say $1,050. So, in the United States, this battery, if it lasts 8,532 miles, would cost 12.3 cents U.S. per mile. Before I continue, let me mention that whereas the size of a car's gas tank is measured in liters of gasoline, the size of a lithium battery is measured in watt-hours. What's important to know is the cost per watt-hour. Manufacturers don't always describe their batteries in terms of watt-hours, however. But that shouldn't be a problem because you'll be told the voltage and the amp-hours, the V and the AH. For example, a battery could be described as having 48 volts and 10 amp hours. Simply multiply volts times amp hours. In this case, 48 volts times 10 amp hours gives 480 watt hours. But the price of the battery doesn't tell you anything about how much it actually costs. To know the true replacement cost of the battery, we have to know the price per watt hour that we're buying. For this, we have to divide the purchase price by the number of watt-hours. In this example, $1,050 divided by 720 watt-hours reveals the true cost, $1.46 per watt-hour. Only then are we in a position to make comparisons between different makes. For illustration purposes, this table compares five types of batteries. All of these are said to use high-quality cells from companies like Samsung and Sony. There are hundreds of different makes, sizes, and shapes of lithium-ion batteries on the market, but this limited sample will help explain the true cost of the battery that you will have to replace. 
For each battery, the table shows the size in watt-hours, the purchase price in U.S. dollars, and the cost in watt-hours. You can see from this that there can be a five-fold difference in true cost. There are some very inexpensive batteries available on Amazon and Alibaba, but I don't know anything about their quality. Basically, two factors influence the cost of a good quality battery, the size in watt-hours and the design. Here is an example of the same manufacturer, but two different sizes. The 480 watt-hour battery at the left costs $1.65 per watt-hour, but the more powerful 720 watt-hour battery at the right is less expensive at $1.44 per watt-hour. Bicycles that have the battery integrated into the frame are much more elegant than those that have the battery attached to the rear rack or on one of the down tubes, but they tend to be much more expensive. Replacing the Stromer ST1 battery would cost $1.99 per watt hour. Whereas the RADS battery, which is a more standard shape, costs only 64 cents per watt hour. I was looking for information on how long does an e-bike battery last and found this. Pedigo estimates two to four years. Energuide Belgium states the following. In general, with regular use, an electric bike battery becomes less efficient after three to five years. Two websites, Biking Universe and eBikes HQ, share that opinion. E-bike generation is less optimistic. It states that a lithium-ion battery should last up to three years. LunaCycle, an e-bike manufacturer, is more optimistic as it says three to six years. The Bosch company, one of the biggest proprietary battery makers in the world, says it's impossible to say how long an e-bike battery lasts. I know of only one person, a friend of mine, who had a Bionics battery and it lasted 8 years before he had to discard it. We are also told that a battery can last 500 to 1000 charge-discharge cycles. Is this irrespective of the chronological age? All this leads me to believe that a battery could last as little as three years if you're unlucky, and I have no idea what the top limit would be. So I'll need your help on this. Stay with me till the end of the video if you want to help out. I'm almost done. In the following two slides, we will explore two more factors that make a difference in the final cost per kilometer, the distance ridden per year and how many years the battery has lasted. We'll look at two scenarios, both based on a 720 watt-hour battery that costs $1,050 US. The first one, the lucky scenario, assumes the battery lasts six years and we assume three different riding levels, 1,000 km per year, 2,000 per year, and 4,000 km per year. From this we see that the more we use our e-bike, the more economical it is per unit of distance traveled. The 4,000 km assumption raises a question I'll address later. This one, the down on your luck scenario, assumes that for some reason or other your battery conks out after only three years. Again, the same applies. The more you use the bike, the more you get out of your battery dollar. Note the extremely high price per kilometer for the rider who has ridden only a thousand kilometers per year. This is as much as it costs to own and operate a car. This table raises more questions. If an e-bike is used less than a thousand kilometers per year, is it possible for the battery to fail in only three years? If a rider travels 4,000 kilometers for six years, that amounts to 24,000 kilometers. Is it realistic to assume a battery can provide that much distance? Is it possible for it to provide even more than that? If you can get 60 kilometers per charge, you could theoretically squeeze 30,000 kilometers out of a battery. But that would be difficult to manage because many of us put our battery on charge when we arrive home so we have the maximum range available the next time we use the bike. Finally, what's more important? The number of charge discharge cycles or the age of the battery? I searched the internet and have found no information that answers those questions. Even anecdotal information would be useful. 
What I'm looking for is real examples of how well or how badly batteries have done for their owners. To that end, I designed an online survey for e-cyclists whose battery has expired. It comprises a few simple questions meant to clarify some of the unknowns raised in this presentation. If your e-bike battery has expired, please take two or three minutes to fill out the survey. It's entirely anonymous unless you choose to share your email address with me. Also, share this presentation with your acquaintances who own an electric bike or your Facebook friends or your bicycle club. I will leave the survey open until March 31, 2021, and will then analyze the responses and publish the results on YouTube. You'll find a link to the survey in the description and on my website. The last point I want to cover before ending is what can you do to reduce the cost per kilometer or per mile of your expensive battery? It all boils down to what you can do to prolong the life, the do's and don'ts of battery management. I'm not knowledgeable enough to give advice on this, so if this is of interest to you, you can find many websites and YouTube videos on the subject. I hope you found this presentation useful. Let me know what you think in the comments below. If you'd like information about my bicycle cargo trailer or my burial bicycle camper, or if you'd like to buy one of my books on sailing, visit my website, www.robertbario.com. And if you haven't already done so, subscribe to my channel by clicking on the red icon at the bottom right of the screen. Thank you for your interest, and until the next video, remember, never quit cycling!